98.9, Big Mama in the Wild Bunch, hanging out with you here as we uh, welcome into the studio the ever so sexy and beautiful Kimberly <laughs> Caldwell. Yeah! <laughs> Not this morning. Oh, no, no, no. You look amazing. And, and you look amazing. Three hours. The, the CDs. I, I, I'm, I love the cover of the CDs. I, I'm Ooh, loving these pictures. Uh, you don't really take a bad picture. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. You didn't see the film. Huh. But, you know, I was just, I was, I'm really, really happy with the photo shoot. We shot at Union Station in Los Angeles, and it was kind of like my dream place to shoot. And so it was just amazing. It was so fun. All right. So it was uh, like my wedding day. I told my mom. Were, I was like, oh, my were people looking day. at you weird? Like, Oh, my God. Some lady came up to me and goes, <gasps> Jesus loves you. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Jesus loves you, too. He loves us all. Yeah, he loves everybody. He does. Yeah. You, you, know? don't, you don't have to tell but me. Was, he called me earlier. But, you know, I understood what she was saying. I was standing there in, like, hooker boots in the middle of Union Station. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I get you. All right, so you're from Katy, so Texas. We just got done talking about totally that. Totally from Katy, Texas. And you grew up uh, and, and really A close to yeah, me, right? right? So getting a lot of troubles. And, and we, we may have crossed paths a couple of times. Totally. And, uh, and, and it could have happened. talk show and rodeo. Yeah, to there you go. Look, it comes out. That's right. <laughs> well, yeah, it's either one beer or I go home for, like, you know, five minutes and then the accent is back. So one beer and the accent comes yeah, right back? Yeah, right back. Right back. Now, yeah. now, do you, do you, uh, now, did you throughout your career have to get rid of the accent? Do did you have like uh, you know PR people saying you know you got to cut back on the accent? You know, uh, did that happen to you? Well, not really. I mean, I started uh, hosting television shows. You know, right after American Idol, uh -huh. it was like my, it was like my waitress job, my day job. Yeah, it was great. And um, and it's just kind of when you live in LA, you're around so many people that are like, oh my god, that's like so crazy. And so you just naturally kind of fade off on the on that on uh -huh. the country accent. And it, it, it just naturally did it, you know, but I've been out there for like 700 years, you know, seven years now or something, seven and a half years, seven, eight years. So, so well, let's, let's, let's rewind. Let's go back to American Idol. Okay. All right. Like, where, where did you uh, audition at? Um, Austin. In Austin, Texas. Yes, and, and I had zero money to drive to Austin, so I had to like crawl to my grandma and be like, Grandma, can I please have money, get, like gas money to get to Austin? So she totally hooked me up, and I think I paid her back. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll, let's, and, let's, 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 all right, keep yeah. going. I'm sorry. Keep no, going. anyways, and so, I, and so I went and auditioned. It, it was like back in the day when you had to like sleep on the street for a couple of days to get your spot in line. Yeah. Now they like you show up, and you're not allowed to be there at a certain time, and then they give you a ticket and the whole thing. But like I, you know, I, I, hard, like did it hardcore. How, how, what, what brought a futon? How many people were? Did you really? I'm not joking. How many people were in line ahead of you? Oh my gosh, hundreds. So hundreds, uh, maybe a thousands or just hundreds? No, hundreds. You were, so you were within the yeah, first. Yeah, I was maybe like I was maybe like mm, four. 400. Yeah, maybe four, like four, like five. Now, now, when they start these auditions, how long did it take for them to get to you? Oh your gosh. Well, in line. because now, you have to. I mean, I don't even know. After seven years, I should know this. But you, so you do the uh, um, audition with like a uh, producer, okay. and then you do an audition for the executive producer, and then the next day you do the audition for the judges. I was always wondering how they, they, they sometimes follow a, a you know a contestant around. They're like, oh, they live in this house. They show their house and everything. I'm like, I don't even know how they how how they do that. Like if they find out, oh, you're auditioning, so maybe we'll come and check you out, and hopefully you're good, so we have a story. I don't know. I, I really don't. <laughs> do, do you? Uh, but they do it different now. Now they have it in like a in like arenas. I mean, in like stadiums, and the stadiums are like full, and then they do like lot, like rows of people. Like, and there's not, like, there was four different rooms when we, you know, when I was auditioning back in the old school days. Yeah, season and, two, and right? And now, what? Season yeah, two, season right? two. Okay. And then, um, and now it's like, you know, 15 different, like, rows that you can go in or whatever. So, did, uh, um, how many people were behind you in line? Oh, my God. Uh, a lot, a but lot? not as many as, as would be today. As would be today. Yeah, be I've been to a lot of the audition cities, like for TD Guide, you know, when I used to cover for them. Mm -hmm. And there was always like hundreds of thousands of people. Great experience or not so great experience? So for what? For American Idol. Oh, American Idol. I mean, it was just an experience, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, it was totally rough and, you know, people were harsh, but it was, I was, I loved it because people were honest, you know, and that's what the industry is all about is like trying to get the honesty and the feedback. I want to get into what happened during the season. We'll talk a little bit about that. I want to talk about your living arrangements, things that people don't normally see when, yeah. they're, when they're watching I'll American Idol. I'll tell you Idol. everything. All right, so we're going to talk about it. If you have questions for Kimberly Caldwell, you're more than welcome to call us up, 765-1039. Nice. And we'll also talk about this new album and the new single you got coming out, all right? Yeah. All right, hanging out with Kimberly Caldwell. Hang on, we got traffic. We'll be right back.